KCRH 89.9 FM online at KCRHRail.com. And they make some crew live and direct in the building. For the past hour, you've been rocking with the homie DJ Tessie. Make sure you follow him on Twitter, on Instagram at DJ Tessie. Every Monday, 420 under that. Mixtape Monday, DJTessie.com. Today, we're joined by a special guest, another DJ. DJ be knocking in the house. What up, what up, what up? What's up with you, bro? Oh, uh, man, chilling, man. You came here to lace me with some music. I know you came here before, right? Yes, I've been here before. You came in and chill with homie the next level. Next level. You know, so he real hyped level. up. Ah, it's my boy, next level. You know what I mean? We've been boys for a minute, so... You know what I'm saying? We got that hot show. Make sure y'all tune in to him and whatnot. Man, man for real. Every Wednesday, Sunday night. Now, yeah. let me ask you a question now. You're, you're, you're a DJ. Yeah. And you're also a music artist. Yes. Now, let the people know exactly when you got started. Okay, so I've been rapping for a long time. You feel me? Uh-huh. Like, I've been rapping for over 20 years. Okay. I started rapping in high school. After high school, got out. You know what I mean? Like, messing around with it in the studio and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Moved to L.A in like 2003 or something like that. Went to school to be an audio engineer, studied a lot of different things in Los Angeles, music business, learned a lot of stuff. Was working in a recording studio, doing different things outside, and mm -hmm. ended up back in the Bay, rebuilding my whole thing. For so sure. I've been rapping since I've been a little kid, you feel me? I'm a grown ass man, so we out here making different moves. It's just a new day. Yeah. I'm making this new album. Okay. My, what I call my first album mm -hmm. came out in 2011, I believe. Okay. So that was really my first album. I was just making tapes and mixtapes and yeah. music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now I look at music totally different. Like, you know, I, when I started getting behind the scenes DJing, messing with my DJ friends, learning from them. Okay. I, I learned more about like being an artist. Okay. Because I feel like before I was just a rapper, like being a DJ and actually working in radio and doing different stuff, doing shows and stuff and learning behind the scenes, like that made me feel like an artist. Yeah, okay. So right now, I'm really back on my artist hype. Okay. I'm pushing DJ B knocking, Brian knocking, the artist. For sure. The artist. And the DJ gave you more of an opportunity to understand what the business is like, the business yeah. end of everything. Yes. Okay. Yes. And seeing like a lot of people hitting me up, asking me for their music and listening to the work and knowing about the work and the, all the real stuff that it takes. It's a real humbling experience, like being on the other side, looking at things like that an artist deals with, a rap artist coming up. Like everybody wants fame, huh? For real. Everybody thinks they're the hottest stuff. Yeah. The newest newest thing on the block. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing against that thought. You should have confidence in yourself. You know what I mean? But there's steps to do this. And now it's time for me to take my steps to do what I really want to do. Instead of just like being a mess with my music. For sure. Like, I feel like there's a lot of artists who aren't actually taking grasp of their talent and using them correctly mm -hmm. and I know that I did it for a long time so I feel like it's just a new idea and I gotta go with it roll with it right Straight now up. this is my last time you know what I'm saying and I'm gonna make it my last my sweet thing you feel huh. me? And it's gonna happen like we're, we're, it's like right in the process of happening there's so many different things going on that behind the scenes that I feel so blessed to be a part of and like it's just wonderful it's a movement that's what's up. But That's it's, definitely dope. It's grassroots. You feel me? Yeah. It takes work to get there. People hear it. People catch on to it. Other people get behind it. They believe in it. And as long as I believe in it and I stay believing in myself, I'm already making it happen. It's already happening. Huh. Now we got a couple of your new tracks that we have with yep. us today. We got Top Billing, we got uh, Keep Rolling Up, and we also got Prescription. Yeah. Um, and that's on the, up, on the upcoming project. You got another so, project to drop? I've been working on this album, Cali We, Cali Love Part 2, for a minute. Okay. I've been, I've been working on it for about two years, three years. Okay. I pushed it back for different reasons. My brain was in different places. And the prescription, the prescription song itself was meant to be the first single for Cali, Cali Love 2. And when I was in that like time frame, when I put the prescription out, when like last year, it just, I was just doing different things. I was juggling a lot of things in music, like helping artists come up, like working with them, focused on their project, focused on my radio show, focused on DJing, focused on different stuff. So my brain wasn't fully in mm -hmm. rap my album 
so after I kind of let go of those things for a little bit, just stepped away from them things, not saying that I'm not going to come back to those things, but I'm just taking the time to be me and do me, Brian Knocking. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's evident. You know what I mean? It all goes together. Like, I find hits, I break hits, I make hits. I am hits, and I'm from the streets. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Remember the dude hits from the streets back yeah, on Rap City? Yeah. Like, I'm hip. I'm a part of hip hop history. I grew up in hip hop history, and like, I feel like my life is a piece of hip hop history. So, whether whatever angle I'm doing it from all the different art aspects in hip hop, if I'm DJing, if I'm rapping, if I'm making a beat, if I'm engineering, if I'm doing a cover or doing some art or something, it is hip hop. Me, it's a part of it. for real. That's what's up. Now, let's talk about Top Billing. One of the first tracks I got right here featuring Main Manage. Yes, sir. Tell me about the creative pre- process behind that and how you got connected with Main Manage. Um, I've been known Main for a minute. Main's my peeps. I did some production from him for him. Mm. Man, a while back, I did some production for him and he was, he was actually promoting that song. He made a video out of it and whatnot. I know him through my folks, Brian Walker. Shout out to Brian Walker. He's been helping me since I've been a little kid. Mentor me in different things in the hip hop game and whatnot. Um, me and Maine were actually at Brian's barbershop just talking, just talking, just talking. I'm like, you don't get on the track. He's like, nah, just send it to me. Just send it to me. And then he just emailed me back the verse. Um, he's a real good dude. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the team, Five, Cavs, all them. You know what I mean? But I have been working with Cavs. When I was an engineer and when I had just came back from LA, I was cast the engineer for a little bit. And me and my other partner were his producer. So we were kind of like working with them a lot back like like late 2007 or something like that. So for sure. Was, yeah. And, and Sue, Sue produced that beat too. Okay. So I had met Sue when he was first like kind of like coming up off of um, the whole world and up. Mm-hmm. And just had a network with him and did some business with him. He got a couple of uh, joints on the album too. Sure. Uh, this was the first one. I just felt like it was the perfect track right now at the time for me to push. Um, I had sent it to a few selected people. Fizzler was one of the first persons to respond. I, I'm not really attempting to put out a whole bunch of music right now. So mm-hmm. I felt for them to put it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was, I was dope. You feel me? Um, and other people have been picking up on it and telling me it's a hot single. Just, just push it. So uh, we top billing right now. For sure. Go do me a favor. Go ahead and introduce that track to the people. Yo, it's your boy DJ B Knocking. This is my new single off my up and coming album, Cali Weed, Cali Love it's Part Two. Life. Top billing featuring May Manish, produced by Sue. I am Sue. Break bread with my people. People. Top shelf, top floor. Gotta pour a little more. It's break bread with my people. Live it up, we don't know equal. Wait, just bringing this bottle to spark and shooting off. We click, clack, and glass salutes to the ones who lost them. It's no way out, it's 